This Houston Stronger segment is brought to you by Academy Sports and Outdoors. All right, folks, we first learned about the Golden Retriever Acres Senior Sanctuary back in October 2017. It's a refuge for senior and special needs Goldens, but it, it's, it's uh, suffered extreme damage during Hurricane Harvey. So how are they doing today? Executive Director of Grass, Joshua Radliff, is here joining us now with Ginger and Sweet Harvey in the wagon. Welcome. Great to see Thank you, you again. Thank you. Likewise, guys. Likewise. We are back up and running and we are at full steam. That is uh, so awesome yes, because is. 12 months ago was a different story. Yes, it was. Uh, we were very fortunate as far as the progression of the rebuild. Christmas Day, we were back to taking dogs in. Uh, this year, our numbers are spectacular. We are just killing it. It's awesome. How many dogs do you have right now? Right now on property in our program, we have 22 dogs. 22 dogs. And again, they are senior dogs. I have to ask about Harvey's name, though. Was he named Harvey before Harvey? Is that just a no, coincidence? We got, no, we got him in the beginning of July, and my wife said, let's name him Harvey because Houston's strong. He was abandoned by his owners after becoming obese. Oh He's gosh. a very strong dog. She said, let's name him in honor of Hurricane Harvey. I love I it. I said, cool. And so. Harvey's the one in the um, wagon, and yes. then this is Ginger here yes, on, the this is Ginger Ginger on the floor. Ginger is super sweet. We want to take a look back, though, Josh, of what happened um, to the area. I mean, this is basically what it looked like for you during that time. And it was, I remember meeting you the first time and it was, it was a rough go for you guys. It was very, very emotional. There was a lot of work to be done. Uh, the property damage was immense and we're still dealing with some damages today that we're having to redo like the wrought iron gates and fencings. There's still some things that are showing themselves residually after the fact. Uh, so we're still working on it. And we did just see a clip. We, we first became aware of you because we featured you on KPRC Channel 2 News. That's right. when a lot of Houston was introduced to you. But for people who didn't know, since 2012, you guys have provided a safe place for senior golden retrievers mm -hmm. to live out their golden years. Absolutely. Uh, taking dogs in between the ages of 7 and 15 years of age that have been abandoned, abused, uh, left for dead by their owners, we take them, give them a safe place to live, and then we recondition and rehome. Uh, this year we have 12 adoptions. We're doing our numbers are awesome. We got five in fosters, six that have passed away. Oh. It has been uh, spectacular. And all the dogs during Harvey um, had to be rescued by boat, um, but all of those dogs were eventually adopted out. Yes, all the dogs on our previous roster were found their forever homes after Hurricane Harvey. Oh, that's so great. And I'm just, I mean, it just takes my breath away to see the pictures, uh, you know, when we think about what happened 12 months ago. Mm -hmm. And in the grand scheme of things, 12 months is not a long time, no. you know, to recover and to rebuild. And the fact that you have seen the light at the end of the tunnel oh, yes. is so incredible. And you also got some outpouring from the community as well. The community companies stood up. We had the Blue Buffalo Pet Food Company that partnered with us, now provides all of our formula at no cost to us for our, for our senior residents. Uh, uh, the Frontier Utilities that came out while we were doing the Galleria yeah. Houston Life, they yeah. provide all of our electricity to us at no cost. Oh uh, there has been some, just a major outpouring, volunteers on property. We have over 200 kids this year and three high school clubs that are volunteering on the weekends in groups of 25. It's pretty spectacular. Joshua, I have to say, I have so much respect for what you guys do because oftentimes we know that with animal adoptions, senior dogs can be harder to overlook and that's why your numbers are so high. But a year ago when so many people mm. were scrambling just to figure out where to go to care for themselves or for their families, you had all these dogs that also had to be housed. And I don't mean to ask you to talk about painful things, but I would imagine that was a really challenging time. Actually, it should have been amazingly harder than it was. The heart of our followers on our Facebook page and our, and our volunteers, within five to six hours of the flooding occurring, we had emergency fosters for all of them. Uh, it all happened within a day. It was awesome. Uh, it couldn't have gone any smoother than it. it should not have gone that smooth. And that speaks <laughs> to the commitment oh, I mean, yes. and the community that surrounds you. Absolutely. You're up there in spring, right? Yeah, we're right there in spring in the woodlands on Rayford. And currently in your program now, so now that we're back up and running, you have some of these dogs that are available for adoption now? Oh, yes. Both Harvey and Ginger are available for adoption. Uh, and, of course, like I said, we have 22 total in our program. We have many, many that are available for adoption. They have such great personalities. Look at Harvey there. He's just chilling. He's, <laughs> Love it. he's got his blanket and his wagon, and Ginger's here on the floor. So if people are interested in learning more or if they want to help out or maybe adopt, there's the website right there on the screen, grass dash 
tx.org. Make sure you put the dash in there, or you can call that phone number, 281-419-1874. But is there anything else that we can do or the community could do to help you guys? Absolutely. We would love volunteers to go to our website, file out a volunteer application, get involved. Uh, also, we're looking for more donors. I mean, our veterinarian bills in the first quarter were $18,900 in just oh, the wow. first quarter of this year. So we're spending a lot of money uh, on the care for these seniors, but every dollar is worth it. Uh, what we do is very unique and it's very special. We just want people to get involved. Yeah. Uh, and we would, you know, urge them to do so. That's great, Josh. It really is. We appreciate it and glad you're back up and Thank you so strong. much. I'm glad to be back. This is awesome. Thanks for bringing the pups. Yeah. Yes. Like spring daisies. <laughs> Lots of years left. And good luck. Let's get them adopted as well. And stay with us.